Joining me now, Sean Duffy, co-host of FBN's The Bottom Line, and Stephen Miller, former senior advisor to President Trump, founder of America First Legal. Um, Sean, let's start with you. Will this trip to the border, with her walking alongside the border fence earlier today, end up helping her campaign? Yes, only if she resurrects her old chant of down, down with deportation, up, up with education. If she does that, it might be an honest moment for Kamala Harris. <laughs> but, Laura, I think she won't do that tonight. Um, let's be clear. She is the most powerful person in the whole federal government when it comes to the border and border security. And it wasn't, you know, all the drugs that have flown into this country um, or, the, or the murderers or the uh, sex traffickers um, or the 320,000 kids that were lost. None of those things where her countrymen were dying would bring her to the southern border. But to your point, she's down by 15 points in the recent Fox polling in Arizona on immigration. So she's going to go to the border not to save her people, but to save her political skin. Uh, this is the most outrageous, disgusting political move I've ever seen. If you believe in open borders, Kamala, own it. Run on it. Let us all see the policy. But don't try to rope-a-dope us into believing that you think we're going to have secure borders by this stupid visit to the southern border. It's not going to work with anybody. Well, Stephen, the Border Patrol Union has just destroyed Kamala on this issue. Very, very critical. She addressed the Border Patrol and how important they were today. Watch. Yeah, they, they've got a tough job. And um, they need, rightly, support to do their job. And um, they work long hours. They're very dedicated. And so I'm here to talk with them about what we can continue to do to support them and, and to also thank them for the hard work they do. But well, I mean, like thank you. They have a hard job, Stephen. Wonder why their job's hard. Kamala Harris has turned the Border Patrol into a global resettlement agency. If you work today at Border Patrol, if you work today at ICE, instead of enforcing the law and deporting illegals, your job is to ferry illegals all over the country, bust them, drive them, transport them, and load them onto airplanes and fly them right into the American heartland. So, yes, I cannot imagine anything harder, more difficult, or more demoralizing than signing up to defend America and being forced by Kamala Harris to participate in its destruction. You talked about those numbers that you led with today. Think about that. Think about being an ICE officer and having to release 425,000 425,000 convicted criminals, 13,000 murderers, 15,000 rapists. And those are only the ones that we know about. The suffering, the misery, the bloodshed that she has unleashed through her policies. As President Trump said today, it's unforgivable. Some things in life cannot be parted. This is unforgivable, Laura. Sean, uh, when we think about what they did to Donald Trump with that obscene impeachment in 2019, because uh, Vindman and company decided, you know, this was their moment, um, what, what is this, what they've done? They've fundamentally changed our country, harmed Americans. Their, their policies have ended up killing Americans. How is this really not rising to the level of impeachable conduct? Well, you know, I, th I think there's a two, uh, two sets of rules, Laura. R Republicans play by one set, which are the old rules, and Democrats play by the new set of rules, and they bludgeon the crap out of Republicans. And I think, to your point, we all have to play by the same set of rules, and I think Republicans have to start playing the same game. This is an impeachable offense, no doubt. Uh, but the th I, go I come back to what Donald Trump says on... Uh, the, uh, on the immigration issue all the time, which is they open up their prisons. They let the worst people out of their prisons and ship them to America. Well, now these numbers that we're talking about, of course that's true. And by the way, who's at the southern border vetting the people that come to our border? How do you let in all of these murderers and, and sexual predators into our country? They're not being vetted. So anyone who comes to the border, in essence, they all get in. That's the policy and the plan of Kamala Harris. My concern, though, is the border is working. The border issue works for Trump in Arizona. It doesn't have the same potency in places like Georgia per the Fox polling. I think he has to hit this issue harder, how it, how it plays in every single state, yeah. as well as the economy um, and double team it. I agree. Women are being affected by this open border. They're victims of the crimes more than men are. Yep. Women across the country, this is coming to a town in a city near you. Sean and Stephen, 
both of you. Thank you tonight. Thanks, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.